It has come to my attention over the last several days that there is something rotten in Denmark, and unfortunately it seems that it must be addressed as far and as wide as can possibly be accomplished by the people that are most affected. A couple of weeks ago, there was a female game designer called out by an ex-boyfriend for the damage she did to him personally. Normally, this would occasion no comment. At least not from me, as I give no fucks about people's personal lives beyond how they affect me personally. It wasn't that she did it, but who she did it with, and her probable motives for doing it. There was certainly a reward in it for her, as she got a pile of positive press in the bargain, and that turned into cash in the form of a large increase in her monthly takings from Patreon. It was a female pop culture critic and her shout-out on Twitter that got the designer's interactive adventure through Greenlight and thus brought her to the attention of the gaming press. Note please, I haven't named her, nor do I intend to. Her crimes aren't at issue here. The only reason I've said as much as I did about the initial event is so that the people listening have context. Besides, if you're listening to this, chances are, you've heard it all before. If you've been lurking in the channel recently, I know you have. It's not like I haven't mirrored three videos on the subject already. With today's double helping of cold fun, let's have a look at a series of unfortunate events from the 29th of August, 2014. On this fine day, five different gaming news sites jumped the same bandwagon. Gamer is dead. What? Are you people kidding me? When did your brain fucking die? Do you have a better name for the folks that play games? The idea of gaming, overall, goes back centuries starting with the gamblers in common rooms playing with cards or dice. Gamer as a term harkens back to the war gamers that recreated large-scale battles with miniatures. With the advent of Dungeons and Dragons from those in the 1970s, the term gamer became broader and more inclusive. I was one of the early role-playing gamers, and I personally found it a mite disconcerting when the folks that did nothing but computer-based games started using the term themselves. But then I remembered how the wargaming types accepted my use of the term, and got over myself. The last few years have seen even more people added to the list, console gamers, social gamers, MMO gamers, casual gamers, and more. It's a huge, diverse culture now, and as long as you can play, very few people even seem to care what color you are, what sexual organs you have, if you changed them, or even wanted to change them, or if you were homosexual. What they cared about is whether or not you could play. If not, usually admitting to being a noob was enough to get you some slack and some help learning what you needed to do to play well. Assuming for a moment that you ever found yourself in a competitive match. Most games made don't have a huge online multiplayer thing going on, and don't need one. Those that had local multiplayer were games where you could hang out and play with your friends and have a laugh when you dropped Mario down the same hole in the ground for the third life running. Games were fun then. Then social justice turned into a thing in gaming, and everything went to shit. A woman appears in a video game, and she's automagically a victim, bollocks. That's bullshit on a level so vast that we don't even have words to describe it. Never mind the cherry-picking and agenda-driven bias of certain pop culture critics. Just the idea that one can simply make up tropes to forward their own narrative is ridiculous. Moving on, the five articles in question ranged from subtle to outright rude. I won't go into the details about these hit pieces, as better YouTubers than I have already beaten that particular horse, and I'd like to save it further humiliation. I'll leave a couple of sapient links in the description below for interested parties. What I'm looking to rant about here is the sheer assholery that these articles represent. Last I checked, journalism was about unbiased and balanced reporting of news, and not opinion, agenda, or hyperbole. All five sites did all of these things, and then went farther. One of them went so far as to banish those who didn't agree with their editor-in-chief. In writing. They don't want my clicks, hits, or traffic. I'm more than happy to grant such a request, as the statement made represents a complete violation of journalistic integrity. Giving these sites traffic only emboldens them, and further widens the divide between gamers and the hobby that the news sites and social justice warriors are trying to see op to spread their venom. Gaming was doing just fine policing itself for its own ills before someone spammed a website known for trolling with her Kickstarter, and then when she got the utterly predictable backlash, played the victim card. People, this has got to stop. We are legion and the quote-unquote journalists are few. Stay informed, keep your heads on, and let the dickbags that are destroying journalism drag themselves to the bottom. They say the tide is turning against us. No, it's not. We are the tide, and it's time we took control of the conversation. As Mundane Matt did, I urge you to speak up. Use your blogs, your YouTube channels, your Tumblrs, whatever you have, and remind people that they are beholden to us for their scrap of bread. Not we to them. 
We've let them have control of the conversation for too long, and it's high time we took it back. If you can't make a video, then upload this one. If you need the content for your blog, then by all means, link or embed it. If you're a social justice warrior intending to hammer me flatter than Cher's vocal range, go for it. Every person that sees this and other videos like it is one more that may speak out, one more to take the lesson we're getting to heart, and let these people know that t they're not in charge. The mighty fall by a stroke of the pen. In my case, the clatter of keys on the keyboard. Don't let this thing die. The way to win this is by maintaining civil public discourse, and calling the people wronging us all to account. Would you like a bag of algae fries with that Tila burger?